What's up guys, it's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Emerald walkthrough. Okay, so... a bit of a, you know, small explanation. Yes, the last five episodes that you guys have watched were, you know, reruns from the old Pokemon Emerald walkthrough. Kind of wanted to get the legendary events out of the way before, you know, we continued on right here with our adventure. Because trust me, it's going to be... well, it's not going to be a long one, it's just going to be... it's going to be something. We're close towards the end, guys, and we're going to have some fun doing it. Now, let's see what's on the TV. In search of trainers. Hi, today I'm visiting an area at Route 120. We're trying to spot, uh, spot some uh, up-and-coming new talent in the field. Today we turned our lens to the trainer Draven. There's something about this trainer that piped our interest. Or piqued our interest. Not piped. Wow. Dys uh, dyslexia, you gotta love it, guys. We've battled Dairy Draven before, but we can't attest that the trainer has the most definitely improved from before. I knew we were onto someone special when we spotted this trainer. The best way to determine how strong this trainer is? Well, the fastest way to battle, or the fastest way is to battle. And so we began our investigation. Dot, dot, dot. That's when we ended up with Draven. In a dominating performance, we were flattened, rolled up, and tossed aside. Draven is ruthlessly strong. Wow, she's like really hyping me up right here. Here's our impression after having battled our featured trainer. Our combination of Camerup and Medicham was was divine. The sight of them, Camerup and Medicham selflessly supporting each other in the thick of battle. It was a marvelous sight to behold. High jump kick was the move the trainer used in our last battle. The move high jump kick is Camerup and uh, Medicham's sign of friendship. Really? <laughs> I don't even know about that. After our battle, we asked Draven for a succinct, a succinct, succinct summary. That's a pretty good word right there. The trainer replied, different. Yes, it was different. And po uh, Draven's Pokemon, uh, Camerup and Medicham, and different. Hmm, that's deep. Eh, there's deep significance behind that quote. There's no surprise, a good trainer has good things to say. That's all for today. See you again on our next broadcast. Okay. So, in our last real episode, we defeated uh, the Elite Four. That right there makes us the Pokemon League champions. So let's go right ahead and take a look at our accomplishment right here with our Pokemon. So let's go to the summary. Look at this. Dr uh, Raiden right here. And these Pokemon, uh, do they get a No, they don't get a... Oh yeah, they got a ribbon. Okay, so there it is. The ribbons. Okay, so let's go... It's not here yet. Let's go to the Pokenab. And we're going to go straight to the ribbons. And you guys are going to be seeing... Six of our Pokemon who won the Pokemon League, as you guys can see. Champion beating the Hall of Fame, ribbon, um, yeah, member, or whatever. So, all six of our Pokemon who have won championships will have a ribbon. And if you guys trade Pokemon from, like, you know, uh, Leaf Greens, uh, Leaf Green 2, uh, you know, Pokemon Emerald, they will have a ribbon too if you have defeated the Kanto uh, Elite Four. The other thing, too, that changes is your train card. Look at this. We got a little star right there. That means we're the champs. The Hall of Fame has been placed. We did only three trades, but it's all right. It's okay. It is. It is what it is. Okay. So let's continue on right here, and we're gonna be stepping outside. And will would you look at that? It's our daddy. Hmm. Hey, it's Draven. It's been a while since I saw uh, since I saw you, but you look stronger somehow. That's the impression I get. But your old man hasn't given up yet. Oh yes, I have something for you. This came uh, to you from someone named Mr. Briny. And we get ourselves the SS ticket, which will enable us to go to the SS title, I believe. Hmm, a ticket for a ferry. Hmm. If I recall, there are ferry ports in Slayport and Lily Cove. And then our mama. She's gonna be like, I better get back to Pedalbrook Gym. Mom, thanks for looking after the house while I was away. Hmm. I think her name is Mom or something. You know, if he was the gym leader, why couldn't we just live in Pedalburg? I'm just, I'm just saying. Anywho, that dad of yours, he comes, he, uh, he comes home for the first time in a while, but he, all he talks about is Pokemon. He should relax and stay a little longer. And next thing you know, it, we have just activated a little uh, something, something going on. Is, is that a breaking news story? Yes, it is. We bring to you, or we bring this emergency news flash. In various, uh, in various Hoenn locales, there has been uh, reports of a bzzz colored Pokemon in flight. The identity of this Pokemon is currently unknown. We now return to you to your regularly a movie program. And of course, Mom is going to be like, Draven, did you catch that? What color did the announcer say that Pokemon was? So, 
Here we are in the portion where in Pokemon Emerald you can choose either Latios or Latias in order to make them the roaming Pokemon. Last week you guys have seen, or two weeks ago, you guys have seen the events where you can actually get the other Latias that you haven't chosen. So since I've chosen, you know, the red one, I'm going to go with blue because, well, you know, Latios is all, all pretty cool and all that stuff. They're still the same Pokemon and all. Well, isn't that something? They're still an unknown Pokemon. That is true. Anywho, now if you guys are playing Pokemon Ruby, I believe you'll be... You'll try to encounter Latios in Pokemon Sapphire is Latios. Now, once you step outside, Professor Berg's gonna be waiting for you and he's gonna be like, Well, well, Draven, that was good work out there. I knew that there was something special about you when I first saw you, but I never expected this. Oh yes, did you still have the Pokedex I gave you? I have something to show you. Let's go to my lab. And, well, he's like, now. Raven and May, I have, uh, or I've had the two of you help me study Pokemon. Thanks to your help, new facts are coming in light. It appears that in Hoenn region, there are also Pokemon from other regions. It goes to show how rich and varied the natural environments of Hoenn happen to be. That's why I think it's necessary for me to upgrade the Pokedex to the national mode. Here, let me see your Pokedexes. Now, a little theory of mine happens to be that, you know, I, I, I kind of feel like, you know, Hoenn is close by to the Alolo region because it's so tropical, they're so, you know, just basically everything, you know, every, everything similar to them. Now, May's gonna be like, hey, it's so cool that even my Pokedex is getting updated. It's because you went out and caught so many Pokemon, Draven. And just like that, they have been updated. Look at this. Okay, all done. Draven's Pokedex has been upgraded. Yes, we got an upgrade. You've become the champion, but your Pokemon journey isn't over. There's no end to the road that is Pokemon. Somewhere there is a grassy patch that's waiting for you. Okay, so in this episode right here, guys, we are going to be going to the SS title because, well, that's what we usually do. Believe it or not, yes, uh, in Pokemon Ruby and Sapphire, that's all you're going to get. It's kind of sad. It really is. I mean, it's pretty sad. It really is. So... <sighs> Here is what we're doing, guys. So we've already gotten the event Pokemon out of the way, and well, look at this. Sky is calling us. He's like, hi, hi, Draven. It's me, Scott. I'm aboard the SS title now. It feels great to be on the sea. By the way, there's a place that I'd like you to uh, I'd like to invite you for for a visit. If you're interested, board on a ferry to either Slayport or Lily Cove. I'll fill you in on the details when we meet. I'll be waiting. Hmm. And you. So, here is what we're going to be going through, guys. Um, since we've already gotten the events out of the way, we technically only have three legendary Pokemon to capture. We've already captured the Regis. So now we got to go with Rayquaza, Kyogre, and Groudon. I am dreading this. Not only that, but the roaming Lati, which is going to be Latios. And then from there, we're gonna be doing uh, we're gonna be doing you know a few things similar to the old walkthrough and all that stuff, just to show you guys that you know we're not slacking off or anything like that. And uh, well, let's see. To me, this is gonna be well, let's see one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, at least five episodes or more. We're going to be finishing it off probably at episode 55, but like I promised in the last episode, or like, a, yeah, like I promised, yeah, we're going to be facing Steven Stone with our, with our Pokemon from Pokemon, uh, what was it, Heart Gold, Soul Silver? No, no, not Heart Gold, Soul Silver. Leaf Green and, uh, Leaf Green and Fire Red. Now, here's Captain Stern. He's going to be like, Draven, we finally finished making the Fairy SS title. We couldn't have done it without your friend, Mr. Briny. Please go to the short. Yeah, we're going to be going right here. Okay, so we talked to this lady, and we're going to be flashing the ticket. Yes, perfect. That's all you need, and where would you go? So we're going to be going to Lilico for right now. And, yes, we're going to be doing some stuff. We're going to be doing some big, big stuff right here. And just like that, Scott finds us. He's like, well, hi, Draven, Draven. Something's come up, so I have to disembark, but I am glad to see you. Congratulations, League Champion. There's a place I'd like to invite you, uh, that I'd like to invite someone like you. It is, it's the Battle Frontier. What's the place like? You'll understand when you see it. I've spoken to the ship's captain about this. The next time you take the ferry, you should be able to set sail to the Battle Frontier. Okay, Draven, I'll be waiting for you at the Battle Frontier. Yeah, the Battle Frontier, not my best friend. And, uh, yeah. 
Okay, so here we are in the SS title, and we're gonna be doing some stuff. We're gonna be battling while I talk about some other stuff and all that crud. And uh, yeah. Anywho, so we're practically at the end of our Pokemon Emerald walkthrough. That's why I took a whole week off and just focused on Pokemon Heart Gold Soul Silver because, well, shoot, you know, we got we 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 we, we got to get up there with with the whole uh, what you might call it uh, the whole Pokemon games and all that stuff. So, like I mentioned in, uh, like I mentioned in the last real episode of Pokemon Emerald, yes, we will be continuing on our adventure right here, going into Pokemon Platinum. Thank Arceus that we got ourselves our, well, we got ourselves, uh, let's see, well, we figured out everything onto the, this movement right here. That way we can actually play the game in a, uh, in a much more faster pace and all that stuff. Many of you guys already know that I do not like the whole, or the Sinnoh region for some odd reason. I just like it. Just it a, it, it left a bad impression in my mouth. I don't know why, but yes, a much quicker pace of uh, let's see, a much quicker pace of Pokemon Platinum will be coming. Who knows? We might be we might be working on it right now as we speak. Um, another thing too. Let's see, what else, what else, what else, what else? Yes, I, I've, I've realized that some of you guys have been mentioning down on my, uh, down on my comic section that, you know, hey, you know, what happened to Pokemon Shiny Pearl and, and Brilliant Diamond or whatever, you know? Okay, so what happened right there was that, you know, I completely phased out of it when I was going into my, uh, going into my state, uh, my studio, you know. Studio that I got last year. Didn't necessarily work out and all that stuff. And, uh, well, let's see. What ended up happening? Okay, so, yeah, I kind of just phased out of it because, well, I wasn't really into it. I was kind of in and out of games and all that stuff, and then I realized that, hey, you know, maybe it's maybe it's best to go back in time and redo these games because, yes, you guys already know I am a perfectionist and all this stuff, which is not a bad idea, but does it mean that we're going to be, we're not going to be seeing this game again? No, we're going to be playing it eventually. I mean, this is the reason why we're doing one one game right here of the main series and then a remake. That way you guys can get the best of both worlds. As many of you guys already know, right after Heart Gold, Soul Silver, we're going to be doing Alpha Zapphire and uh, Omega Ruby. Or, let's see, which one did I didn't do? Yeah, Alpha Zapphire. We're going to be doing that. So, yeah, we're, we're, we're working, guys. We are working and things are going to be... You know, things are gonna be done, are gonna be done in a timely fashion. We're gonna be heading into the summer, so there's gonna be quite a few quite a few things that you guys are gonna be seeing over the summer. And well, of course, this guy's gonna be telling me that you know a whole bunch of trainers are gonna be wanting to battle, so that's what we're gonna be doing, just battling everybody we can see here. Uh, hi, I'm not acting suspicious. Uh, you can have this for free. It's honestly, I didn't snatch it from someone. I, I, I'd never do such a thing. It's clean. You can use it. And here we get the TM49, and I believe this is Snatch. Yes, Snatch steals the beneficial effects of certain moves before they can be used for a foe and an ally. Okay, so that's a pretty good, uh, that's a pretty good move for any kind of like double battle. Let's go right here and switch up our Pokemon. Hmm. Let's see. Let's go right ahead. Let's go right ahead and switch it to Joust. Let's go right here and talk to this guy. Child, did you knock the door? We did. Just didn't want to say anything. Okay. So, here we go. We're going to be taking on uh, Gentleman Thomas coming out with his Zangoose. And here we have a Joust. Look at that Joust. He's looking pretty fantastic. Okay. So, what else is there? What else is there? Now, in regards to the Battle Frontier, yes, yes, I will be going through the Battle Frontier, of, like, you know, at some point at a separate series because, well, you know, I'm doing the main series right now. Going into Platinum, there's going to be another Battle Frontier. you got to study up on all that stuff, but it will be a separate series to where you guys stay entertained and watch me lose quite a few times. Yes, I know. I know. I'm not that great of a trainer, but I'm starting, I'm starting to get, you know, starting to hold my own and all that stuff. And, well, would you look at this guy? Welcome aboard, Draven. They made me honorary captain of the SS title. So you can call me Captain Briny now. You know, I retired once before, but I saw this majestic ship. Let me just say, it stirred my sleeping soul as a sailor. That is pretty cool. I'm happy for him. I really am. So yeah, a separate series into Pokemon uh, The Battle Frontier and all that crud. And uh, let's see. What else is there? What else is there? 
when it comes to the Battle Frontier. Uh, no, no, not really that much. And yeah, she thinks that I am adorable. We want to have tea. But other than that, guys, we're going to be progressing. We're going to be progressing through everything. Um, pretty darn sure you guys already know that, you know, at some point in time, I'm going to be doing, uh, let's see. I'm, like, at some point, I'm going to be doing uh, more walkthroughs and all that stuff off screen. I've been uh, planning some series ahead when it comes to, like, the other channels that I said I had, which will, you know, will eventually happen and all that stuff. And... Oh, Siri is, like, talking to me. I was like, who the hell is talking? Hold on just a sec, guys. <laughs> okay, so... If you guys don't know, I have both setups right here in my room. I have a gaming computer on one side, and I have a video editing slash graphic arts uh, computer on the other. The other one happened to be, happens to be an Apple, which many of you guys already know has a, a certain... Uh, whatchamacallit? Uh, a certain uh, setting that if you say the name to... This certain individual will start uh, talking, and uh, yeah, that's what happened. Uh, she happened to overhear what I was saying, and it kind of sounded like her name. You know, kind of like Beetlejuice and all that stuff. And, well, let's see. We just beat the crap out of this guy right here. Okay, so that's that. And, well, let's go right ahead and move on into the next thing right here. Okay, so we're already done with the main rooms. Now we're going to go downstairs right here. In Pokemon Ruby and Sapphire, this is probably like the most depressing, like probably the most depressing after game af uh, after game because this is like really there's not a lot of things that you can actually find except capturing the legendary Pokemon and battle Neem Beast guys right here. But luckily in Pokemon Emerald, you get just a little bit more with you know the extra legendaries and quite possibly what was it? The, the event Pokemon, if you guys have a game car or a game uh, shark or, you know, what else? What, what else is there? Game shark and, uh, what was it? Okay, I mean, if you had happened to hit the event, and then good for you and all that. So there we go, kick it to butt, and here comes a Machoke. Thunderbolt for the win, and just like that, we win. Mm-hmm. Okay, so let's see. I think there might be another item right here. As you probably already noticed, we got ourselves a leftovers, and here we have nothing. And, well, we got one more trainer to go up against. So let's go right ahead and battle him. Let's find the right Pokemon. Let's see. We haven't used Vesuvius just yet, so let's go right ahead and do that. And let's have this quick battle. Yeah, unfortunately, we got the wrong Pokemon, but we do have a uh, ground-type move. So let's go right ahead and switch it out. Hadouken, ready to go. Fly attack for the win, and just like that, we win. Alrighty. Okay, so that is that right there. So, let's see, what's going to happen is, I think, yes, we have enjoyed our fairy, so that is it right there. This will drop us up in Lily Cove, so the next thing we're going to be doing, we're going to be doing quite a few things here in this episode. So, let's see, we're, uh, we're yeah, we're going to be finishing up a, quite a few things, so we're going to be resting up, because you need to rest up before you leave. And, just like that, we have made landfall to Lily Cove. And there we go. Let's go right ahead and talk to this guy. And, well, we have arrived. And here it is, guys. We are in Lily Cove. So, the next thing we need to do is we need to go to Moss Deep City. Okay? This is after you defeat the champion. We need to go to Moss Deep City because there is a little something something that we need to uh, obtain. So, let's go right ahead. And head into Moss Deep. As you guys know, Steven Stone lives here, or lives here, and if you go into his house, there is a Pokeball. Now, there will be a note. Let's go ahead and read that note. It's a letter. To Draven. I've decided to do a little soul searching and train on the road. I don't plan to return home for some time. I have a favor to ask of you. I want you to take that Pokeball on that desk. Inside is a Beldum, my favorite Pokemon. I'm counting on you. May our paths cross in the day. Steven Stone. So, there we go, guys. Here it is. We get ourselves a Beldum, and there it is. Beldum, a pseudo-legendary Pokemon. A Pokemon I kind of wanted to use for, yeah, quite some time. Yeah, it, 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 it would have been unfair if we used it right here. So, what we're going to do right now is we're going to speed it through all the way to Beldum. That way you guys can see this guy. So, let's see. Uh, you know what? Let's go like this. Okay, so here are the three Reggies, and here is Beldum. 
The Iron Ball Pokemon. When Beldum gather in a swarm, they move in perfect unison as if they were but one Pokemon. They communicate with each other by using brainwaves. Now, now, unfortunately for Beldum, it only has one move until you reach, I believe, level 20. I think that's what it is. Yeah. So level 20 is the deal. So that's one. I think there's another thing that we need to do. So I'll be right back with you guys. Alrighty, so... Here's the second part of what we're going to be doing in this episode, just so we can, like, you know, shorten it up a little. So, a few episodes ago, or probably like a month ago, I have mentioned something about, you know, the fossils, how you can obtain both of them. Right here, this is going to be where we're going to be obtaining a fossil of some sort. And all you need to go, all you need to do now is go into Fall Arbor Town, and what you need to do is go straight to the digger's house. So there it is, the Fossil Maniac, and what you need to do now is go straight into the hole, and you'll see that this place has expanded just a little bit, and this guy right here is like, you found a fossil, didn't you? That is so nice, it's so dreamy. What are you going to do with that fossil? From what I heard, Devon is doing research on reviving Pokemon from fossils. I love my fossils, so I would never do anything like that. But little bit of a something something he has opened up a, a an entranceway or pathway to something different he's like oh it's not safe that way I was digging away you see when a whole wall collapsed I think I think there's a giant cavern underneath now but I've left it alone because I don't think there are any fossils there ah so you think okay so we're gonna be going in here now remember this is the desert underpass the reason something collapsed was because of us and then, one of you, you guys already know what happened. We chose one fossil instead of the other. Right here, you can be, like, you'll be able to find a pretty rare Pokemon. The very first one of its kind. And look at us. A Ditto. And as many of you guys already know, Ditto happens to be the whore of, a, of the Pokemon. Excuse the language. But yes, this Pokemon can basically breed with anybody out there so we're gonna be capturing them a little bit later on but the biggest thing that we can actually find here is uh, something different and, oh look at that a Loudred you can find yourself a level 38 Loudred two levels away from evolving and well here we go with a Whismur and let's see this place is very very long and yes we're gonna keep on getting attacked by Pokemon because well yeah we kind of need to capture the ditto and all that stuff and there you are, level 40 ditto. Let's see. Let's go ahead and try and capture it with a, an Ultra Ball. And then Rock Slide it. That way it can weaken it. And as you guys can see, it just messed us up. So let's go with Hadouken and go with that Ultra Ball. And there it is, guys. We caught ourselves a ditto. The very first of the of the uh, Kanto region. As you guys can see, ditto, the transform Pokemon. A ditto rearranges its cell structure to transform itself. However, if it tries to change based on its memory, it will get the details wrong. That makes a lot of sense. So, this Pokemon right here is going to be useful for us when it comes to breeding some Pokemon and all that crud. So, now that we've got ourselves a ditto, let's go ahead and uh, put on that repel because we do not want to. Yeah, we don't want to get attacked by anybody right here. So, let's go right ahead, straight forward, and at the very end, you're going to see some sand. And look at that. The fossil you failed to get up in the, the desert castle, you're going to be finding it right here. And here it is, the root fossil. And, well, look at that. We got two fossils and all. What we're going to do now is we're going to go straight to the Devon Corporation to revive these two Pokemon. So I'll be right back with you guys. Alrighty, guys. So here we are in Rustboro City. And what we need to do next is we need to go straight into the Devon Corporation. And you need to go straight into the second floor. I think this is an individual that we haven't talked to yet, but I think he's in the far corner right here. And let's see, I think it's not him. It might be this guy right here. Hold on. I've been trying to develop a... Yes, okay, so if you talk to this guy, he will notice that you have two fossils with you. And yes, let's go right ahead and... Yes, let's go ahead and revive one fossil at a time. And just like in Pokemon Fire Red Leaf Green, you have to step outside, come back in, you know, get your fossil and all that stuff. So I'll be right back with you guys after we revive both fossils. Alrighty guys, so we 
finally got these two fossils uh, revived, and we got ourselves an Anorith and a Lilith. Now, in Pokemon Ruby and Sapphire, you'll only be able to get one, uh, one or the other. In Emerald, you get both. Bang! As you guys can see, here is an Anorith, a rock and bug type Pokemon. Its ability has body ar or battle armor, which blocks critical hits. And uh, this one, this Pokemon will eventually evolve into pretty strong, uh, what was it, Armalo or something like that? I can't remember what it was named. Don't quote me on that. But here is the second Pokemon, Lilip, rock and grass type. Suction cups is his ability. Firmly anchors the body. And, well, that's pretty much it right there. It does evolve into a pretty strong fossilized Pokemon. Which we will eventually see in, the in I want to say, the final episode and all that stuff. So, yes, there it is, guys. Two fossilized Pokemon revived. In the next episode, we're going to be going straight into the... I, would wanna, I wanna say the trick house for its final play so do not miss that and uh yeah just wait for it guys we're gonna be trying to capture a whole bunch of pokemon right here a whole bunch of uh interesting uh pokemon so thank you guys again for watching thank you guys again for being supportive as possible and uh if you guys want to get some merch it's right down there below yes i finally opened up a merch store thanks to fourth wall so check it out guys support I'll be back for another episode of our Pokemon Emerald walkthrough. See you guys.